Today we're going to be doing what I am calling White Mana style cheeseburgers. Uh, these cheeseburgers are from uh, this little shack, uh, hole in the wall, almost small diner uh, called White Mana in North Jersey. It's been featured on numerous magazines, numerous TV shows, uh, just fantastic burgers. Uh, they're served on a bed of grilled onions. Uh, they're smashed onto the flat top, uh, nicely salted, got a great crust on it. Uh, so today we're going to be emulating uh, something like that. All right, so we're going to be starting with our onion. We're going to cut it into small strips. Take off the peel. I'm going to split this guy in half. And then we can just start cutting into pretty thin strips. And something that I like to add for the burgers, I like to add tomatoes. It just gives it a little bit of a uh, little juiciness, a little acidity, a little sweetness. Uh, I find it's a great, pretty great combination. And I'm just going to slice these lengthwise so it fits on the buns. So we have the ground beef here, and I'm just gonna form them into these little balls. They're probably around three to four ounces. Um, as long as they're pretty consistent, uh, you don't need to worry about the exact uh, exact weight on them, because we're gonna be smashing them anyway. They get pretty thin, and then they're gonna cook super fast. Uh, so as long as they're relatively the same size. And for the, for the actual burgers, I'm actually gonna plan on making double burgers for each one. Uh, like I said, these get pretty, they get smashed, they're gonna get pretty thin, uh, so a double is just, uh, just a good amount. And now we got our burger balls ready. Uh, make sure they get salted liberally before they go on the grill. And then we'll probably salt again once they're actually on the grill, but make sure they get a little base seasoning going. So we're gonna start with grilling our onions first. You can see I'm using this flat top griddle that makes it nice and easy to put all the onions together. Uh, and especially with the burgers, it makes it a, a ton easier. But go ahead and use what you have. A cast iron would be great, or any kind of skillet would be just fine. Go ahead, keep turning those onions. It's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. In the beginning, they won't need a lot of attention, but as it gets closer to the end, you'll need to keep moving them around. Make sure nothing burns. Then at the end, you can just set them aside. I usually just push them, push them to the back of the grill uh, and then get ready for our burgers. For the burgers, just go ahead and smash them down. Try to get them as thin as you can. And you really only want to do this once. If you uh, continue to smash too long, you're actually going to start leaking out some of the juices. Uh, so one good smash should do it. And get the edges if you need to. So after we got them smashed down, it's a good time to season it, a little salt right on top, and then we're just going to let this sit for about uh, a minute or so. Make sure we get a nice crust on the bottom there. After about a minute or so, we'll get ready to flip these guys. Uh, they might be a little bit stuck to the griddle, just try to do the best you can. Get Try to get all that crust uh, to remain on that patty, because that's where the deliciousness is. And then once those are flipped, you can go ahead and throw on your cheese. Uh, I'm using Kraft American Singles because they are the best. Uh, it's just going to melt into this ooey gooey goodness that uh, every good burger needs. After about another minute or so, or until the cheese starts to really look nice and uh, melty, uh, I like to stack them up on top of each other and then throw them onto a bed of grilled onions. Uh, that just kind of lets the cheese melt around the onions. And then after another 30 seconds or so, go ahead and transfer to your bun of choice. Uh, here I'm using uh, a low-carb bread, you know, got to keep it keto. 
And then top with your fixins. Here I'm using those tomatoes that I cut earlier. And as for condiments, I'm using a combination of mayo and Peter Luger steak sauce. Uh, if you've never had Peter Luger steak sauce, a little sweet, uh, it's a little horseradishy. It's, uh, it's delicious. And then go ahead and top your burger and cut in half and take that all important cross cut picture. And there you have the White Manis Mash Burger. Uh, it's delicious. I definitely recommend giving it a try. After you cut it in half, definitely take a bite. And if you're anything like me, I immediately made a second round. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll be back in the kitchen soon to treat my mouth with something else delicious. So stay tuned.